Liverpool 6, Arsenal 4. And it was time for the Arsenal fans post-match to give their thoughts on the current situation at Arsenal Football Club. They've been through enough and they're about to go through a whole lot more. Come on, it's getting stupid now, you know? And it's just going to carry on if nothing changes. We flopped at Chelsea. After the Chelsea game, I told you, we'll come here and we'll flop. What happened? We flopped. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of keep coming to grounds like this every time turning up. And we're failing, Robbie. Every single time we are failing. You know, every story has an ending. Yeah? This story should have ended a long time ago. But he's holding on and on and on. And now we do need to look at the board as well. When's the last time we performed well, fam? When's the last time, fam? It has to stop, Rob. Enough is enough, blood. It's time to go. You know, you can go on about the Sanchez move, you can go on about that, but our defensive performances are shocking. He looks a broken man. He looks clueless. I'm done now with it because it's just, it's, mm. to me, to me, you should go tomorrow morning. Never mind. Seriously. No, yeah. Tomorrow morning you should go. I think. Finally, I know where you stand. Where do you stand? You, you still think we should persist? Of course. Sir. Of course. And the thing is, if there's going to be change, it's not going to be now, is it? It's going to be at the end of the season, isn't it? It's not going to be now. So for you, back until the end of the season, minimum? Back, absolutely, minimum. Oh, Very it? minimum. And ten, maybe maybe ten, another two more 20. seasons, of course. And the only time we'll step up, yeah, is probably now, blood, because fourth's on the line. So now you'll see Arsenal doing their team, blood. But that's not enough, blood. Gazidis has been on the phone. Oh, careful. Next few games. So, and the mirror have picked it up. I mean, John Cross. If you're not aware of John Cross, he's, he's on it, isn't he? Oh, they're declaring a bad result against young boys or in the forthcoming European League game. Would we'll see how this fate. Absolutely not. I mean, I've, Stan said everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Forget, don't worry about what the fans say. Don't worry about what other players might be saying or the press say. Just focus on you. So that's what we're going to do today. Welcome back to Wenger out. I'm probably about to be Benji out. Or I see people have been doing the hashtag Benger out, which is... Thanks for that. So, in today's episode of Benger Out, we'll first run you through our recent fixtures. And since since the 6-4, which was fun for us all, wasn't it? A 3-0 win against Partizan. We beat them relatively comfortably. Then Bele got us underway on the 17th minute. Then scored again in the 80th. And then Lacazette in the 88th minute. Saw it done. And it was quite a dominant performance. If you look at the shots on target and whatnot, uh, we deserve to win it. And did win it. So, well done to us. And kept a clean sheet, which is a surprise to me. Uh, we then went away to Southampton. It was a 2-1 victory here. Uh, Lacazette and Dembele again on the score sheet. Gave me the he got a penalty late on, but we had enough to see them off. Uh, they probably had the best of the game, so somewhat fortunate, but we'll take a win. And then a nil-nil against Everton, in which there are no highlights to bring. This this is all that this is all that happened. There were four shots on target in this game. It was boring. Today, then, we play young boys in the Euro Cup Group E and then Tottenham in the Premier League. And speaking of the Premier League, things are going, well, better than they were. Uh, 11th is the current position. Two wins, three draws, three defeats, and... A lot of heartache. So, without any further ado, let's go to today's first game against Young Boys. Knowing that if we win, then everyone's going to be fine. And there's been a little bit of discontent in the squad. If we look at the dynamics and happiness, you can see they're supporting a teammate. And uh, Jacques is not very happy. Montreal wasn't happy. Got Koscielny to talk to him. Oh, I'm fine. So, if they get any more problems, just send Koscielny in. But yeah, Montreal was happy at a lack of first-team football. I was unhappy about his lack of footballing ability. So, swings and roundabouts, Nacho. Right then, this could be the final game as Arsenal manager, I hope I get a meeting beforehand just to say, come on, you can do it. So let's hope for that, shall we? But it's not been a good start. Arsenal fans are, uh, as you've seen, they're unhappy. So we'll we'll see if we can progress forwards and push for a win. So far, I'm beating in Europe. So that's, that says a good thing, surely. We're away from home and this is the lineup we're going to go with then. Koscielny's still out injured for this one. And uh, this is the team essentially that's been winning recently. Czech in goal, Bellerin, Mustafi, Chambers and Klasenak. We've got Ozil as the advanced playmaker on the right, Perisic on the left, Xhaka and Seri in the centre. We could bring, uh, bring Gay back in, but I'm not sure if him or Xhaka. No, we'll bring him back in. We've, we've spent money on him. Uh, Dembele and Lacazette up top. I actually prefer them that way round, so we'll keep it that way round. Uh, Dembele, by the way, eight goals so far this season. Only six starts. So looking good. Right then, let's get out there, do the business, and uh, not lose. We're I'm beaten in three, but last time this happened, Liverpool beat us 6-4. So... I'm a bit nervous. Tottenham around the corner as well. That's a game that surely has no importance. Oh, wait, no. We should win this one fairly comfortably. Play your own game and we will win. And some of them seem bothered. But there's a lot more to come from you. I believe you've got what it takes. Well, I've got to say, this is not a nice UI here. It was better before. Okay, kicking off. You can see that. Oh, there they come. The team's coming out of the tunnel. And uh, am I there? There I am in my red coat. 
looking looking nice in the distance there. And here we go then, as things kick off. Uh, I've now made it so during the time when they're not highlights, they're not like some little box. Look at this new screen we've got. It feels like a whole new game. And actually, hopefully, now I can see the match stats as things are progressing. I'll be able to make changes based upon those as Hector Bellerin heads it straight out to La Fleche. Now, we've got an interesting scenario here. Do we want 2D or 3D? Because they've improved 3D with, uh, sorry, 2D with a little patch. You can now zoom in a little bit more. Now, do we prefer this, viewers, or do you prefer 3D? Or do we have this for the regular games and then 3D for the replays, which is what we've always done? As uh, we come, I mean, if we score in 2D here, we'll keep with it. Then, uh, you know, that's, that's a sign of good things. Seri and Simmers at Ozil, back to Lacazette. 1-0. I mean, maybe maybe that's been my problem all along. We, we've got away from 2D, in which I'm, I can only manage in 2D. Maybe that's that's it. We figured it out. And then we have, obviously, the 3D replay. Is this What we'll do is we'll have this for one episode. We'll see if you prefer it, don't prefer it. Comment section, let me know. Um, and Lacazette scores. Keeper decided not to dive, which is not what goalkeepers should be doing. Look at that, though. Can see the match stats. Can see recent events. Oh, this is great. Before, I've just been looking at an empty pitch. They've got a free kick quite a way out. Well, wasn't ever going in, was it? Obviously, you can now zoom. But you can scroll wheel and zoom in and out of 2D, which uh, I thought I'd broken it then. It's fine. We're forward again here, though. Mesut Ozil plays it inside to Dembele, who's a little bit of a distance out. Finds Bella in. If he can get a ball across the box, he can. Lacazette's there for a second. And I tell you, the sack loomed, but... Get rid of the sack. We don't need it. How does the sack loom anyway? Is it just above me waiting to just engulf me? I'm scared about this sack. I really am. Bellerin with the ball across though. Lacazette uh, on hand to make it 2-0. And we're looking good after 20 minutes. Of course, to lose from this position would be, well, awful. We could be forward again. Here. Mesut Ozil's got it in a dangerous position. And I like that. Actually, he plays this as an advanced playmaker, but he drops in quite a lot. You can see he doesn't hold a wide position, Ozil, which I really like. I like that he comes inside and he just creates a bit of an overload in the centre. I think recently that's been working out really well for us as uh, Perisic comes forward. We'll see what he does. Perisic with a strike on goal and it finds the back of the net. It's Arsenal. I mean, it's a, what a wonderful away day. Um, it's 3-0. It's, it's a demolition job and uh, I'm very much enjoying it. You can see uh, that Ozil dictating a little bit more, creating a little bit more, being part of the moves as they build up, not just sort of being a piece up top that isn't really getting involved in the play. Perisic with a nice strike. Keeper could probably do better again, but um, we'll take it. So far, dominant first half of football. I'm back. Or maybe it's just 2D. Now, I, I fear that if we perform well in 2D, you'll be saying, we'll get it out of 2D then, because this is not what we signed up for. So at half time, we're 3-0 to the good, and I've got to be questioning, do we now rest a few players knowing that Spurs is on the horizon? I think that's probably the smart thing to do. So we'll do a team talk first of all. Passionately say, very pleased with the performance. Everyone looks delighted. Good for them. And um, yeah, now what do we do about this? Benteke is there, ready and able. Do we bring him on? He's not fully fit, but he, he could certainly feature today. Um... Hmm, let's have a think. Now, he's not sharp, Benteke, but I feel like he needs the game time. So we'll bring him on for Lacazette. Actually, no, Lacazette's having a good game. We'll bring him on for Dembele. We'll just keep him in the advanced forward role. You know, he's not the slowest player out there. Um, now, Monreal's been getting upset. Klaasen is on the yellow card, so we'll we'll make that switch as well. And then in the, the centre, Gray's on a booking, so we'll bring on Xhaka. It's a half-time triple change. Nothing can go wrong. I've just made a triple change at half-time in the Europa League. That, that hmm, doesn't strike me as good. But like, the way we're playing, with a 3-0 advantage... Surely this game is over. Lacazette pulls it back for Perisic. I tell you what, I said it was over. There was a, there was a moment of pause. Lacazette, Perisic, 4-0. If, if anything, folks, I think we can all agree, the changes have worked wonders. No players that I've brought on were involved in that. But genius, Ben. Well done. Lacazette pulls it back. And there's uh, Perisic to score a second of the game. 4-0. It's 2D. It's 2D and being able to see what's going on. Monreal brought him on. God, tell you what. Showing off there with that pass. Beautiful. It's a free kick. So he's going to put it in. No, he's not. He's going to play it short to Mustafi. He finds Xhaka, who's, uh, who's involved now. Xhaka and Monreal have been kicking off about playtime. I've decided to get them involved. Xhaka's on it again. And uh, the thing is, we couldn't afford to play a weakened side in this Europa League game. As, well, we've gone for goal there. And Xhaka's knee found the back of the net. Isn't it weird being back in 2D? I don't know how I feel about it. I think I like it. I think. 20 minutes to go. Um, ordinarily at this stage, you'd make changes. But, well... You know what? Young boys, chance. Check with a save. And, I mean, check's been good. He's made a couple of saves in this game. And um, saves we can be proud of. The problem with the 2D being this big is that if you want your match stats, where are you, where are you supposed to put them? Just sort of 
up there somewhere near the advertising boarding. So I mean, it'll have to do. Don't get me started on the league table conundrum we're about to have. Ten seconds to go there. Young boys with a bit of Pizzell, clearance from Bellerin. And uh, I think that's been the most convincing performance, quite obviously the most convincing. I think this is the first time we've actually won that you've said. I think it is the first win. What, what's the date today? 19th of October. 19th of October and you've just seen me win for the first time. That's good. There we are then. Money in the bank as well. Uh, Perisic has got some fitness concerns apparently. So we'll rest the team. We play Spurs, I assume, on the Sunday uh, based on how football ordinarily works. Yes, yeah, Sunday. So what we'll do then, we've got, it's the four o'clock, so we've got a little bit more time to rest as well. Uh, Perisic needs said rest. We're going to rest the entire first team, the side that's probably going to play in the upcoming fixture against Spurs. And um, it's good to be back to winning ways. I'm sure the board are definitely behind me now, as are the fans. We've certainly not been papering over any cracks. So I think we're fine. It's kind of a shame that that win there doesn't improve our league position but you know rules okay game time we've had the appetizer for for this evening this is the main course it's a shame there's no pudding right here we go then uh it's going to be tottenham hotspur at the emirates home game so i guess we're, it's up to us to to make the mark on this game uh, i think we'll do one little change is we'll take out cocklin bring uh, jack wilshire on if we need a bit of passion then i think we bring on jack wilshire uh Bellerin, mustafi chambers because they've done a good job another clean sheet in the last game seri and gray in the middle then uh urzil perisic i know it's gay by the way but i've said gray for so long i can't go over it uh then Bele, lacazette up top scoring goals eight goals apiece so far and as you can see from the average ratings we're starting to find we're starting to find a little bit of form we're going out attacking we're flexible we're beating tottenham hotspur let's get it you can't lose a derby day whatever you do you cannot lose a derby day. Kane up top, Deli Alley. They've also bought a player. Uh, Dembele, Dyer, Trippier, Rose, and that three at the back with Delet playing in the centre, which is interesting. They've brought an 18 year old in from Ajax, who I actually have in my other playthrough series, which you should definitely watch. Promotion here or up there. There you are. All right, passionately say we're favourites for a reason. Are we? I'm not sure we are. I'm favourites. All right, I'll go out there. I've got faith in you. M make the difference. This worked last time, so we're doing this again. I just love how simple this is to do. Oh, tunnel. Uh, Mr. Ozil says to make his 125th appearance. Delighted for him. Well done. Uh, doctor. All right. It's a derby day. How much do you look forward to taking on your local rivals? Very much looking forward to a tremendous occasion. Loads of questions. Jesus. After the mid uh, game of midweek, do you worry that the team might struggle with fatigue? The players are raring to go. And as you can see, they're in, they're in huddles here. They do it. Oh, here we go. This is getting serious now. They're breaking from the huddles, and here we go. We're still going to keep in 2D for now. Again, I mentioned it earlier on. Let me know if you want it in 3D. The replays will be, so don't panic completely. Now, it's been an interesting season so far, and this is the sort of Harry Kane has a shot. Uh, if we get the league table up, I guess it's the first time I've been able to do this, and uh, we'll, we'll put it over here somewhere. We can just see the points for now. West Ham currently sit top of the table, because, uh, you know, of course they do. And we are currently in 12th. So Tottenham, though, also not had a good start to the season. As Mesut Ozil's through on goal, and Hugo Lloris makes a save. Jesus Christ. But no, both sides desperately need a win here. It could be, you know, it could be me or Pochettino first to be axed as uh, Ozil at the front post. It's cleared again, and uh, some nice early pressure from us. Come on. So far, we've seen a Harry Kane shot from 25 yards. That's pretty much it. All right, we're at the 20 minute mark. And uh, oh, there's a highlight. Danny Rose with a throw in deep in their half. Now, these are always quite difficult to work your way out of, I find. And uh, Larissa's kick's going to have to be perfect. And he fires it forward. It's Deli Alley, but no. Gay gets there first. And now Perisic brings it forward on this left hand side. He's got options in the middle. He's actually tackled. Deli Alley picks it up. But Kane's quite isolated. So if we can keep that going on then I don't think we'll be in too much trouble as Harry Kane. It's a good ball up to Trippier now, actually, and there's lots of men in the middle. Trippier with the ball in. Harry Kane's there. Oh, dear. Harry Kane with the goal. And um, I don't know what I'm doing with all this stuff. It just sort of exists on the screen. Oh, God. what? Where's the... This is a bad time for this to be happening, Ben. Do you know what? We'll get, we'll get rid of the league table. I don't, I don't think, we, retrospectively, I don't think we need it. Harry came with a finish from a trippier goal. And I was saying, you know, Kane was quite isolated up top in his own. Probably couldn't cause as much damage. There he is with the first goal of the game. So, ah. It's a corner kick to Spurs now. Whipped in. Front post. Harry Kane is lethal. And uh, at half time, then, we go in at the Emirates. 1 0 down to Spurs. It, I'm sure the Arsenal fans will be understanding that they're a, Spurs are a very good team and this is. Not my fault. The question is, I think we get aggressive with them. Come on, I show a bit of desire. Look like a team that wants to win. Look at the motivation skills. Right, here we go. No changes necessary. Get out there and uh, and seal this deal. Let's let's fight back firstly, then seal the deal. Sorry, wrong order. You can't seal a deal if there's no deal to be sealed. All right, it's a goal kick to us, and I'm going to put it down as a chance. Up towards Dembele, who loses out in the air. And now Perisic, who's a good footballer. Loses out to Deli Alley, which is not what you want to see. Harry Kane is still quite isolated, but we're not really 
stopping him from doing what he wants to do. If the ball goes into him here, we could be in a spot of bother. Win it back, though, and we could start some sort of attack as Kalasanak has uh, fouled him. And I imagine this will just be a telling off and not a red card, which will completely jeopardise the rest of the game and probably result in us losing it. Uh, referee, over to you. <laughs> oh, it's the second yellow card and he's off. <laughs> Okay, uh, Monreal is going to come on uh, for Mesut Ozil, who doesn't perform in big games. So he's off, and um, Jack Wilshire comes on for Perisic, and we play a diamond. Well, it's not a diamond, really, is it? It's We're playing that instead, though. Jack Wilshire comes on. We need to win the game. Uh, Gray's going to play a little bit more defensively now, just because Wilshire's going to have the freedom to roam in front of him. Let's see how we get on out there. Come on, boys. 1-0 down, down to 10 men. Uh, what a story this would be if we could come back. And it's a, it's a corner kick to be played in by, by Sonny. Towards way. It's a penalty kick, referee. It is a penalty kick. Oh, who's going to take it? Who's stepping up? Check. Get back in your goal. Uh, who, who's, who's going for this? Number eight's going over. So it's Seri wants it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I tell you, we've gone down to ten. What a, what a marvellous comeback this will be. Seri with the penalty kick then against Hugo Lloris, who so far has been very difficult to beat. Seri with the penalty kick for Arsenal. Oh. <sighs> I tell you what, that did not look like it was going in. What a goal, though. Half an hour to go. We're still on attacking, which might be a mistake. We'll go to a more standard mentality. But we've got the players out there to do the business. Serie with the penalty kick gets us back on level terms. It's a good penalty kick as well. And uh, now, Arsenal, I've got it all to do to win this game. Do you know what? At this point, we'll take a 1-1. Um, obviously. 20 minutes to go. And it's, uh, it's a Spurs throw-in into the feet of Harry Kane who's been on this booking for some time we really should have tried to rile him up Harry Winks on it now four towards Manreal who's headed clearance it sort of demonstrates why he's not been starting and now Trippy with the ball in Chambers gets it clear Wilshire knocks it down to Monreal whose ball forward has to be good Nacho where you go mate hello Nacho that is that is not a good ball forward Harry Kane hits the post bloody hell Monreal wants a chance and then that's what we see out of him Jesus. Question is, there's about 30 minutes to go. I think it's time for Benteke time. And uh, we'll bring him on. Target man attack. Then Bele's off. Benteke on. But Lacazette's next to him as a poacher. Can Benteke be the hero? Defensively, it's a good substitution because he's a bit bigger. And they've got some big old players of Spurs as a... Uh, you know, from set pieces and stuff, that's probably going to be useful. As Deli Ali goes close, that would have been awful. Imagine Christian Benteke, the hero on Derby Day. North London Derby. Benteke goes up, last minute. What's occurred there? It's a corner. Why? What? Hello? What a weird time to start a highlight as uh, it's whipped in. This could be dangerous. Alderville's there, and it's behind for another corner kick. This could go on for some time. Vasquez, ball to the edge of the box. Danny Rose is waiting for it. He's done this before against Arsenal. Danny Rose, Mustafi goes in, and the counter-attack is emerging. Mustafi, ball across, ball across. He's done it eventually. Benteke's there, not quite, and the highlight is over. Time is ticking away here, and I think we've got to admit that to come out of this game with a draw, 10 seconds to go, after going down to 10, Jack Wilshire, the passion came on, maybe that's what we'll call him, Lacazette, surely not a late moment of, of magic here, but that's no gas going to be time up, although we were attacking down that left-hand side ref, so your uh, job's worth. Uh, there we are, then 1-1, get a penalty back, Harry Kane got the first, and I think with all things considered, uh, that's not a bad result from our start, uh, starting point. You've done brilliantly to come back and salvage a draw, I'm proud of you, and they're all delighted about it as well, so... Just going to ask football manager, why isn't that a good thing to say? Why not? Why is that not a good thing to say? Now the, dress the dressing room, I've already lost them apparently. They're already pissed off with me. They're going to be further annoyed now because I've said, well done, good effort. I'm now getting the option to do a team talk to them as if we're playing another game. So all the best out there today. Have fun. We'll end the team talk because I think we've had enough of those. Look, that could have gone worse. I think we can all agree. I don't know if the board are going to want a meeting after that. That was, in my opinion, that was a good result. Um... No, not seeing anything from the board. So I think, as, as things stand right now, we're okay. Yeah, good. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. And that, then, is going to bring us to the end of today's episode. Next time, uh, we're going to play Atalanta and maybe Newcastle. We'll see. Newcastle State. We'll see how things are going. Um, if things are going badly, it'll probably be Newcastle. If things are going well, probably just wait for Stoke. Uh, and that is going to bring us to the end, then. If you've enjoyed today's episode, do drop a like on it. Let's aim for a 1,000 likes. The quicker you leave it, the quicker it goes on the thing. I don't know what I mean. And that is going to bring us to the end, then. If you've enjoyed today's video, do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2000. 18 content we love with care from me until next time i'll see you again soon hopefully still as arsenal manager goodbye